everyone, so Sims 4 House, the mod condo, this is a giant three house apartment setting, and it's my most downloaded Sims house, so I thought I would show it to you guys. There's our entryway with the llamas and the gnomes, and this is the first apartment. There are two apartments on the ground floor and one on the top floor. So this is the entryway, and this is the view of the apartment from the entryway. It's sort of blocked off because of that bedroom, and it was a little awkward getting in the living room, but you do what you gotta do. And so here is the kitchen. I love this kitchen. Very nice, very small. And then we have a little entertainment area right before the bathroom, and all of the modern things in here, all of the expensive things, I guess, in blue. And then we have the master bedroom with that Victorian feel and the muted blues and grays. And then on the other side of the house, we have the other bedroom, which is more of a children's bedroom. It can definitely be changed if you wanted to, if you downloaded the house, but I decided to use it as a children's bedroom, have that red and the almost cream color, so you've got all of your little tchotchkes in there and enough space to do everything. So that's the first apartment. And then the next apartment is right to the side, and that one is going to have a larger entryway and this one's got more of a retro feel to it so you're going to see a few pieces of art a few times in this and that's because i had to use what i had to, what i had so the entryway and then here's the first living area it's a little living room and it's got a full bar and then a nice sitting area so the sims can sort of start there for a party or anything and then move their way through if they want to play through or they could just stay there and then people can be served. So here's the rest of the living quarters and we first have this little office area that's sort of blocked off just a tiny bit with some screens. It was really too open for me so I thought I'd use the screens without building any more walls. And then we have a nice piece of fountain art and the kitchen and the dining area. Again, really large, super open, and just really nice if you have a lot of sims in the house. So then we have the living room. Yes, I know, it is that living room from the last time. I wasn't feeling very inventive making this house. It was one of my first. And so here is the bedroom in this apartment. This one only has one. And it's a very much a 70s feel to it with those designs and the cream colors. And it, the bedroom also has a nice little sitting area for your Sims. And then from there, we have the bathroom. Much darker. I would say this is the other side of 70s maybe. That side of 70s that when you move into the house, your parents or you want to remodel. That's what I get to feel for this one, especially the paneling and the wallpaper. It's a little dark for how small the space is, but there you go. And I hit the bathtub right there, so just in case your sims want to have a tiny bit of modesty. And then that is the second apartment. And here is our last apartment. This is, of course, the biggest one because it's on the top floor. So here's the entryway, and to the right of the front door is a little library, just in case your sims want to get to reading as soon as they step in the door. So right next to that library is the first bathroom of this apartment. And this bathroom is, again, pretty much just the expensive stuff, sort of a Asian feel to it slightly with the toilet and the sink and then I love the teal and the rose carpet just sort of bring it all together and it's a pretty large bathroom considering for sims most of the time bathrooms are pretty small so I made this one a bit larger I made a lot of things oversized in this so here's an overview of the living area we've got quite a bit of the same furniture as we did with the bedroom downstairs. Again, that's more to do with the fact I had, I didn't have custom content yet, so I was just using what I had, but you do get a nice 
piano area right next to your living area so if you wanted to just be entertained instead of watching television here is the view from your piano to the kitchen and then in the kitchen we have a purple and blue theme and it's very open a lot of space for sitting and eating since we don't have a dining room and then we have our scandalous sim that's in his chonies Hi. And he's just making breakfast. And then right off of that kitchen is the kids' bedroom in purple and flowers and unicorns. So this would be the children's bedroom. You could definitely take out like some of the toys and add another bed if you had multiple children in this house. Or take out something and change it a little bit. And then this bedroom is connected to a bathroom. And it's a really small bathroom. It's really hard to sort of get pictures inside of it. So like here's one corner and then there's the back corner and then here's the other corner. So behind that tub is actually where the toilet is. So it's blocked off for modesty, I guess. And then here is one of the, I would say, adult bedrooms and it's huge. And I just tried to use all of the furniture that sort of was cohesive. I want to say it's almost like Santa Fe furniture is what it makes me feel like. Like the Santa Fe design, the faux desert design. And it's giant. It has a desk and a sitting area. And then here is the other bedroom and another adult bedroom. Definitely this one could be considered the master bedroom because it has the ensuite. But this is up to you, of course. And this one is, again, in those muted grays and blues with the dark woods as well as some of the light wood from, I want to say it's almost like an archaeologist feel for some of the furniture, like the desk and the uh, bookshelf. That's what that thing's called. And then here's the bathroom. And I tried to actually make the bathroom sort of run from the bedroom into the bathroom so they felt like they were connected in some way that they were decorated maybe by the same person as opposed to me just throwing things in a bathroom and it's got a nice feel to it a bit of clutter but not too much and then both of the large bedrooms in the back do have a connection to the back porch here which is just full of a hodgepodge full of stuff because I didn't know what to do with it honestly it was so big so I just went ahead and threw all that on there and there's the view from the back porch to your little sim world and that is it for this giant condo three house house definitely I hope you guys enjoy you can download this off of origin and like I said it doesn't have any modern modern uh, any modified content or custom content so if you download it it will be fully furnished and you won't have to do a thing if you don't want to of course you can change whatever you want to so I go hope you guys liked it, this so don't forget to like and subscribe for more sims videos I'll probably start doing the let's play videos sooner than later but I hope you like it and have a good one. Bye!